Right then. Throughout all of the problems that I've had with various situations. Uh, fuck that anyway. Yeah, I lost the... Uh, yes, red nail varnish. Don't judge me. Let me just see if you can see this. Something behind my camera. Firstly, I lost this... I always mix them up, nuts and bolts. This is a nut, and this is the bolt, which... I lost them both separately. And this is the lever that funbikes.co.uk sent me as the original was snapped off somewhere around there I'll show you that at the end of the video hopefully it's just I have a lot going on in my life right now so yeah simply slot the lever not the lever the bolt down can be awkward it just takes a bit of jiggling to make sure it goes through and then right through at the bottom and then you put the nut carefully threaded, you don't want it cross threaded make sure it's okay by hand before using tools because if it's cross threaded you'll need a whole new bolt and nut as well to my belief now the tools I'm using I'm sorry that it's not a I mean, I'm sorry that it's not a better camera angle I wish I could show you me working on this like pointing, pointing down on the lever set up. Um, I forgot what these are called, but these grip things and just something that came in like a basic tool set up. I think this might have actually came with one of my motorbikes. So you locate the right size, obviously. Um, Get on the best way you can. Doesn't matter which way it goes, as long as it holds the nut or bolt in place. And then clamp the nut and just work it round, really. Always go as far round as you can so you get a better reach, whatever. Even if you have to keep it in place and work it through a bit at a time with basic tools, it will be so much easier with a socket. And a socket wrench. As long as you get it just the right pressure, um, it's wobbling there. It takes a bit of time, it is fiddly with the tools that I'm using. I just hope this is still recording. What I really want is this part. Actual, actually, shit, in place and sorted out. Not good to do when you're really tired, and especially do not ride any type of bike, or scooter, or skateboard, or rollerblade, like rollerblades. Just don't do anything when you're tired. But this is safe enough. As long as it gets it off your mind when you're really bloody tired like I am. Yes, I've just been in a live stream. My own live stream. In YouTube. This video should come after that. But to my belief, this is a lock nut where the plastic is inside the nut. Which should keep it on the thread. Only too tight. See how it still moves there, but it will work. I'll try a bit more tension. Just make sure I uh, somewhat, at least, align it with how it's flush or like flat on the nut. Good grip. Don't go too far with the pressure. That's an alright wobble, alright movement. Seems spongy though. But then again, I do have a big bubble in the brake fluid viewer thing there. Now let's see if the front brake works. Just put these tools down there. Check out, I'm still recording this video. Yep, it is still recording. Oh, I 
think it's my wife coming in. I also know what that voice sound was. Would I be? It definitely works, but it seems to be so spongy. I'm going to have to fill the brake fluid in again, which is yet another problem with this bike. Okay, so many things to do, but there you go, I've put the lever on. Um, it is a sort of reach back thing, I forgot the name of it, but apparently there's less chance of it actually snapping off. It's a good feature with the front brake <laughs> and the clutch on the other side. My wife wants my attention, she's demanding my attention right now, so thanks for watching and more videos to come.